First of all, I would like to thank you to all my viewers and subscribers for their love and their support. So, uh, till now, we have discussed about the various topics of Kojawa. Uh, we discussed about the couple of examples where we demonstrated that how we can, you know, print a certain uh, format or a particular uh, format in uh, Java, which mostly asked in uh, interviews. We also saw about the static block. We also saw saw about the uh, interview questions related to main method in Java. We also saw about the constructor, how constructor works in Java and uh, what kind of questions mostly asked regarding the constructors in Java. And there are many more topics which we have covered. We have covered about the wrapper classes also. We covered uh, the difference, difference between the for loop and the enhanced for loop. Okay, so in that uh, particular uh, series uh, now we are continuing with a, a different topic today which is called precursion in Java okay so this question is not mostly asked to automation engineers um, in, in interviews but they are certainly asked when you are applying to a company where they are mostly work in you know uh, API automation where they are having tools or they are having a framework which is mostly on Java framework only where they are not using the traditional uh, tools. There are many companies who are working on their own created tools uh, Java based on the uh, Java language. So they ask certain kind of questions and most uh, most of the times uh, this, question, this question is asked for the experience level where you have more than three years of experience in Java then definitely they are going to uh, ask you uh, regarding the recursion in Java. They will ask you about what do you mean by uh, recursion? Can you explain recursion in Java? So something like that they will ask in interview. Oh, can you tell us uh, how recursion behaves in Java? How you can implement uh, recursion in Java? Can you demonstrate uh, recursion in Java? Okay, so uh, if someone asks you that can you explain recursion in Java? So today I'm going to demonstrate to you that how you can answer it and how you can explain them by creating a program. Okay, so let's start with that. So first recursion in Java means uh, means a method called itself. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little weird in hearing, but yeah, a method can call itself. So this concept is called recursion in Java. Okay, when we try to uh, implement uh, such algorithms or we want to implement such kind of code where we want to you know, avoid loop uh, in some cases or where we want uh, to create our code uh, more uh, compact, okay, instead of bigger line of code, then we are using recursions in Java. Uh, most of the times, the ex uh, examples are uh, the, there are various calculus uh, uh, applications has been developed which use the recursions where you can uh, calculate the factorial programs or uh, based on the factorials there are such very applications who implement different kinds of algorithms so in such algorithms recursions are mostly used uh, the most common application you can say when you are use, when you are uh, creating a chat application then recursion is mostly used in that also so uh, what is the benefit and what is the disadvantage of recursion so when someone asks you what do you understand by recursion in java then you need to explain its advantage and its disadvantage also. So first you need to say that recursion means a method call itself. This is called recursion. Second thing you are going to say then the advantage is your code will become quite compact. Okay, it will have less number of codes if you want to, you know, avoid loops in, in certain places, then it can be uh, useful in that position. And also the disadvantage of recursion, it may code quite complex it's not easy to understand sometimes but yeah still it's used in java or in our applications so uh, after this you can demonstrate the recursion by this example which i'm going to demonstrate you here this is the simplest way to demonstrate recursion in java okay so now let's start so first we are going to create a variable static int i equals to zero why I created this as a static because you know we are going to use this uh, variable in a static uh, method and a static method will always uh, can uh, be uh, used uh, static uh, variables only. Okay. Public 
static void print value equals zero. Okay, so we are creating a method. So what this method will do? It will increment the value of i. Then if i is less than five, then System dot out dot println value of i we are going to print and here we are going to call print is print value recursive. So what it will do? It will call itself. Okay. Now let me calling for the first time. We are calling it via man method. method okay so what it will do it will first we from here we are going to call uh, this method and here it will increment the value of i okay so what is the value of i right now zero when <coughs> I'm sorry. when this value will be in uh, when this line uh, line number nine will execute it will increase the value of i and it will check i is less than five years then it will print the value of i then again instead of running a loop <coughs> sorry what it will do it will call this method again it call itself then again it will execute this line line number nine then it will check line number 15 so line number 11 where it's going to check the value of 5 once the conditions uh, are satisfied then it will print the values but when the condition becomes false then it will exit the if statement okay and our program will be terminated so let's see so here you can see the value of i 1 2 3 4 so this is the simplest way of demonstrating recursion in java Okay, if you want to explain someone recursion, then this is the very basic and very naive approach to make them understand that okay, this is how a recursion works. Because you know, if you directly directly try to implement it in a algorithm, or you are trying to directly implement in uh, in some some of your applications where uh, new there where the developers are new joiners or you know they have a certain kind of less experience then they might not understand it but the simplest way to make them understand it with using this program okay or even in interview if you uh, give this demonstration to your uh, interviewer regarding the recursion then it will be very helpful for him to also to understand the concept of recursion and this um, program will give a very very basic understanding of recursion in java without going more complex okay so this is all about recursion uh, please keep watching my video and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to press notification bell and subscribe to my channel also thank you very much thank you everyone